you're looking at a trapezoid. And for this lesson, we're going to use the definition, a trapezoid has exactly one pair of parallel sides. And a special type of trapezoid is the right trapezoid, and it has two right angles. We only need to mark one of the angles as right because of the parallel lines. We know if that bottom angle is a right angle, since the top angle is And here's a right trapezoid, a trapezoid with two right angles. We only need to label one of the angles as right angles because the top angle is an interior angle on the same side of a transversal as the bottom angle. And since those angles have to be supplementary and one of them is a right angle, we know that both of them have to be right angles. And now let's look at the isosceles trapezoid, a trapezoid in which the two sides that are not parallel are congruent. And let's mark it. So we mark the parallel sides and we mark the two sides that are congruent. The two congruent sides are called the legs and the two parallel sides are called the bases. And now we'll label each vertex of our isosceles trapezoid. And then we're going to use the parallel postulate to draw a segment CE through point C that is parallel to AB. And so we mark another pair of parallel segments. So A, B, C, E has to be a parallelogram since both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. And that means that segment A, B is congruent to segment E, C because opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. And then E, C has to be congruent to D, C by the transitive property. So we have an isosceles triangle E, C, D over on the right. And then angle CED has to be congruent to angle D because in an isosceles triangle, the base angles are congruent, or as we like to say, if sides, then angles. And then angle CED has to be congruent to angle A by corresponding angles because of the parallel sides of the parallelogram in ABCE. And then angle D is congruent to angle A by the transitive property, so we've just shown that the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. And then angle A and angle B are supplementary because they're interior angles on the same side of a transversal, and the same goes for angle C and angle D. And that means that angle B is congruent to angle C because angles supplementary to congruent angles are congruent. And then let's take a look at the diagonals AC and DB. We can find two triangles, ABD and another triangle, DCA, and those triangles are congruent by SAS because side AB on one triangle is congruent to side DC on the other. They share side AD, which is the bottom side of the trapezoid. And then, of course, angle A from the one triangle is congruent to angle D from the other triangle. So there's your side angle side for a pair of congruent triangles. And that means that the diagonals are congruent by corresponding parts. And that's what we've just proven, that the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Here's a summary of the properties of an isosceles trapezoid. The bases are parallel. The legs are congruent. The lower base angles are congruent. The upper base angles are congruent. The diagonals are congruent, and each lower base angle is supplementary to each upper base angle.